Pelgrim has Big Board, brought to you by the Peterson School. The Peterson School is drafting instructors for all locations. If you're an expert in your trade and you want to share your knowledge, please visit petersonschool.com. We've had an issue a little bit with the new board configuration. The issue is we had it uh, clipboard to the top of the board, and if you miss the magazine, it's the closest to. So what would happen yesterday with our offensive lineman, because these guys don't know how to throw, if you miss low, I would end up going to the bottom of the list, the bottom of the page, which is all the sucky players. So the suggestion was to move it to the middle of the board. Yep. Easier said than done. The amount of suggestions I got was silly. Maz, of course, went to Staples and got all sorts of magnets, and so now it's in the middle of the board, but I'm telling you, Maz, it ain't going to work. Yeah, because you have to flip the page. And there's going to be dead air. So oh. the key here is... Oh, a Murray and I will fill on. the air. We can talk. Okay, well, that's what it's going to take. I also have to tilt the board up, because if I do this, and it starts to slide down. Either way, whatever, defensive tackle, you'll see. We'll go through it. First page, these are top-of-the-line guys. Murray, go ahead. All right, I'm throwing pink. It's my favorite color. Brace for impact. <laughs> it held up. Because it's tilted. Is this the mark right think, there? Yeah, no, that's it. That's the mark. No, I threw pink. That's no mark. What color is that? Let me throw again. No. Oh, he definitely hit that yeah, side. Yeah, where it hit. Yeah. Mason Smith, LSU. Okay. Mason, Mason Smith, yeah. LSU. Now, you're going to have to fill because if you see the labor it takes now to flip the well, page. stop talking and start flipping. Yeah. So, again, Mason Smith, LSU. Barth is already back there hacking away in his phone to give us a little bio. See, he's more working more quickly than you are. Oh, yeah, come on, 11 minutes home and back. Quick no, change. I'm telling you, this is, it's like not a me gonna, thing. Like, it's stupid to have to reclip six different clips to every up. page like and then put it back up. I'm telling you, it's this isn't. I, I've been, 60 seconds. I've been doing this for 12 years. I understand what no. it takes. It's a dead air situation. Act like you're in a pit crew. Hurry it up. I'm going Woo! as fast Act as like I can. like you're driving. You know what? I don't think you are. You're really not. I have worked with you for almost 15 years, and you can drive to and from your house in 11 minutes. Yeah, I can but drive, but I can't. Play around with effing magnets. Okay, page oh, two, go. Snack, Throw it. Go. It's starting to slip. Go. Okay, here we go. Because it's a bow. Oh, oh, Jesus. Oh, that was a good one. Green. You got some ricochet on the window. Oh, More of it. No, that's purple. <laughs> yeah, that's what you just threw. Tavondre Sweat. Oh. From Texas. Great name. You, he works hard. It's right in the name. Tavondre Sweat from I Texas. Come oh. on, let's sweat. I that's can't it. wait for the Now hunger. talk. You I need to talk. For the yeah, is that sweating to the oldies? That footage of talk. when we came back with Christian Barmore was uh, gave me PTSD because it actually had when we had the uh, the glass dividers in here, the glass dividers to stop COVID because oh, yeah. you know, see, COVID can't go over the divider. Splatter? Yeah, what a waste of time. Keep talking. <laughs> oh, I didn't notice the purple mark on the window from yesterday. No, that just happened. No, it isn't. This it's is a lot. It's a lot of green. You jackass. Chit chat. Okay, go ahead, page three. All right. That was there. I'm throwing blue. Here we go. Final one. Yeah. Oh! oh, Jesus. Yep, I went high like Maz. Okay, I got to th- th- throw again. It still hit Felger. That is so bad. You did it so yesterday. Bad. I don't want to hear it. No, yesterday the thing was at the top. That Jesus. Jeez, it's the red the mark. The red mark. Yeah, I got it. Logan Lee, Iowa. Okay, now talk for a minute. All right. All right Logan Lee. Let me see if this one comes. See, this comes right Yeah. Off. Nobody's talking. I know. Exactly. They're dry erase markers. They're easy to the clean. The key to the whole thing is no, key is no dead air. Okay, the first uh, the first offensive lineman you hit was, uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Mason Smith. Mason Smith, LSU. He's projected by this magazine in the second. Mason is spelled M-A-A, Mason. Mason Smith, LSU strengths. Enormous frame, 6'6", 315. That's a big dude. 6'6", 315. Uh, enormous frame with great length. He dwarfed most of the opposition, I would say, except for that offensive tackle we hit yesterday. The six eight three four. Oh my God, that guy from Georgia! Wow. So could you imagine this guy going up against that tackle? Love like it. The land of the giants. <laughs> anyway, he, he he dwarfed most of the opposition, even in the SEC. He's a long strider, I'd say, who can cover a lot of ground for a big man. Mass combines with long arms to create plenty of knockback on contact. Physically overwhelming, even against top competition. Possesses, possesses a great swim move that most blockers can't shut down. Barmore has a good swim move, too. Effective penetration ability, Maz, is oh. rare for his body type. Well, yeah. And not a lot of people looking for that body type, but when he's in there, he gets in. <laughs> Weaknesses. Oh, interesting. 
disproportionately small hands. Ugh. Disproportionately small hands will be a topic of conversation for most teams. 6'6", 315 and small hands. 6'6", 315. It comes in with little paws. It's like, do you see that guy's hands? That's weird. It'll be a top. He leaves the room and they're all like, did you get a load of that dude's hands? Are you that big with that little mitt? Disproportionately small hands will be a topic of conversation for most teams. Height works against them when trying to stack and shed. What does that mean? Stack and shed. Stack, shed. Stack Show that again, shed. Mass, for the audience. Stack, shed. <laughs> it's more like stack, shed. Yeah, okay. Well, Mass I, is I doing put, it with more flair. With open yeah, hands. Like, put my like, hands out. Like like he's yeah, on, a, a little light on yeah. his loafers. Yeah. He's on the dance floor. Uh, he gets too narrow with his approach. What does that mean? It means he's narrow-minded. Open up your mind, man. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, no humor. Yeah, he's narrow with his approach will occasionally get over his skis and lose his balance as a result of leaning too far. Anyway, put him on the board. Mason Smith, LSU. Another big guy. We've got two, like, giant guys. Loses his balance. You don't want him to land on those little hands. Next offensive tackle, Tavondre Sweat from Texas. He was project The first guy was projected in the second round. This is a third-round consideration, according to Lindy's. Strengths, prototypical nose tackle body. 6'4", 362. Okay, now we're talking. Barthy, you know this guy, huh? The giant, wide man. He's smiling ear to ear back yeah, there. Yeah, he's beaming. Yeah, of course. Six four three so sixty two. Look, they could use some interior help. They lost Lawrence Guy, right? We got a couple of sales guys looking. <laughs> <laughs> six four three sixty two. Prototypical nose ta tackle body, with great width, weight distribution, and bulk. Tremendously strong run defender. Boy, if Belichick were still here, you'd oh, say, yeah, yeah, this is be their guy. Kind of guy, no question. Uh, run game redirector who is the equivalent of a defensive mountain. Wow. Rarely gives ground against double teams. If Bill were still here, I'd say yeah, this right. guy is coming. This, this, is guy's like, this guy's like Ted Washington. He's like your prototypical 3-4 nose tackle, it sounds like to me. Rarely gives ground against double teams. Oh, Bill would Oh, my God. Bill just unzips somewhere. He takes on double teams and doesn't give ground. He takes on blockers. Mountain of a man. Redirecting the run game. Oh my God! This is Bill's dream nose tackle. You said he was six four three sixty two. That's what it says here. Ted Washington six five three sixty five. Same I mean, kind of build. It's the same guy. Oh my God! They would. Oh, Bill would love this guy. Booming hitter who will hurt opponents when he lands on them. <laughs> oh, I like the sound of this too. Yeah, just yeah. land on the fella like King Kong Bundy. You know what? I want this guy. He's also great at disrupting passing lanes and getting his hands up during the release. Uh, I love, I absolutely, T Tavondre Sweat. Oh, love this guy. Yeah, me too. Um, weaknesses, if you want him. Size impairs his movements and makes it difficult to create consistently as a pass rusher. Yeah, well, he's not there to rush the passer. He's there to stop the run and redirect and take on blockers and that sort of stuff. You don't need to get to the quarterback. Uh, he could have weight concerns from some teams, I I'd say. You know, Shocker. You're just, you're just going to deal with that at nose tackle. Put him on the board. Put him at the top of our board. I like that guy. Wow. I like him a lot. That is. I'm telling you, if Bill were here, that's a no-brainer. 6'4", 362. It's <laughs> over. Holy crap. What was the last one I did? Uh, Logan Lee, Iowa. Logan Lee, Iowa. Uh, 6'5", 285, Ugh. a high school tight end and defensive end who gradually moved further inside as he added weight at Iowa. Ugh. Lee is the definition of a tweener. Ugh. Solid football player in spite of his body type. That's not, never a good... You no. suck the tight end. Go inside where we can hide you. Strengths. Uh, his strengths are he's aggressive and urgent. He's an aggressive and urgent hand fighter who is always looking to counter. Plays with good hand speed and a motor that never stops running when he gets to go downhill. Mm. Pro ready in terms of his awareness and feel for his surroundings. Sounds like he practiced martial arts. Okay, so he's got good hands. Weaknesses: spindly frame without ideal weight to hold up in the run game as a pro. Spindly gets upward. Not a word you want. I, I would not say not a defensive yeah. lineman. No, you not want spindly. No, that's a fair point by you. Ugh. Uh, he got locked down when he had to read and react through blocks against Iowa State. Not quite explosive enough to get penetration against NFL guards and centers. Slow in pursuit and will be avoided by most quarterbacks when scrambling. Okay. <laughs> this, this kid blows. Most quarterbacks can get around him. What rounds he projected in? Free agent. Oh, he I, sucks. I don't even know they listed. That's one of the worst write-ups we've ever had. UDA is horrible. This guy blows. Horrible. But it's counterbalanced by our guy, Tavondre Sweat. We just went from like one of the best descriptions of bios ever to the one of the worst. Put him on the board.
If you like that clip, check out more videos from Felger and Mez here. For more Patriots analysis and opinion, hit this playlist. And for all the latest from the Sports Hub, download the app at 98.5thesportshub.com.